Hello and welcome to Frost Train. This is a beautiful small game on Steam, available now and it's free to play. In this game you work as a conductor and you need to maintain your train and passengers aboard it. Now each train car generates happiness and possibly some other things like uh, improvements or zeal depending on the train car and depending on the type. Every time you visit a point of interest you gain a choice of three cards. Now all the cards have two types and a level and a effect. For example the job school card has education and fuel and hammer brotherhood types and is currently level one. Each time a passenger visits this uh, card or car, they gain happiness and they gain one plus one happiness if the passenger is full. I'm not entirely certain when a passenger is considered full. I think it means that the train car is full and I think three passengers is the maximum. Then we have a gambling house which gives zero to three happiness. It's a uh, dice roll. You could get zero, you could, could get three. And then we have a wheelhouse that grants happiness and improvement. Now improvement alone does nothing if you only have one train power card. If you have two or more, you will slowly improve your engine and gain more speed. And I like speed. I want us to go as fast as possible because we are being followed by a storm from this direction and we need to constantly keep moving to the right. The movement works a lot like games like FTL and uh, many of the modern roguelike games. And this is a roguelike game. You can unlock three different conductors. You get one by default and then you have two more that you can unlock. I have no idea how they are unlocked. The game suffers from a lack of information being given to the player. Now here we have training, which is a Red Frost Templar's specialty. If you have three cars with this type, they will start training and train every five cycles, which is these points where we lose happiness at the moment. And when they train, they turn all the training points into happiness, which is quite good. But I think for now, because we have a education building, and I don't have anything that grants me improvement, I'll just go with job school. In the bottom left corner here, you can see our level. You gain level each time you visit one of these points of interest or you gain XP each time you visit the point of interest. Each time you level up you gain access to more train car slots which allows you to make uh, different combinations that work together and keep your happiness above zero because if you reach zero you will be overthrown and that's it. You're done. Now each time we visit a point of interest, we get a card and when we visit a larger point of interest, we can get a larger or a better card. For example, manpower generator, which gives happiness, improvement and we can start improving the engine, which I think I'll do because job school gives so little happiness, it's not even worth it alone. Now if I upgrade this, which you will see soon, it might be good, but as it is now it's useless. Here we go, we have Department of Labor. We already have one card, and they are the same level, so we can add them on top of each other, and we get level 2, Department of Labor. Now I can't go and add another level 1 Department of Labor on top of that. I need to 
First upgrade them and then add another level 2 Department of Labor on top of that. Now we already get to upgrade our manpower generator. So in the left corner here you can see our improvement. As it rises we will gain more speed and uh, the faster we go the more points of interest we can visit without being caught in the storm because when you enter the storm your uh, happiness will plummet and here we can see the storm is approaching it's constantly moving at a steady speed i think and you can't stop it you just have to outrun it now the storm isn't your only opponent there are special areas that will also tank your happiness and you don't want to stick around in them for long. Now, early on I will try and skip much of the areas because I want to save the time I have available for later areas that have a lot better rewards. Another thing that is not the best in the game is the map doesn't seem to be procedurally generated. It's the same each time, so there's a little bit less replay value. Now in a moment we can uh, get our media set up and then we can start uh, gaining happiness from that, which should hold us over for a while. I think I'll want to start collecting zeal soon, just because there's a room later on that makes it quite OP. Now I need to get out of this area, or I will lose. I probably will lose before I get out. Let's head south. Now we got out of the bad zone. We will uh, stabilize our happiness because we don't lose seven happiness every second anymore and this area will have a lot of uh, cities or small towns that will each give us great engines or uh, train cars and will allow us to last a lot longer currently we are in a quite bad of a state but we can improve it quite rapidly once we get good train cars we won't be getting any levels anytime soon because it will take us it'll take four points for us to get the next level I'm not entirely sure if we still get double for each place we visit. No, we only gain one point. Now, we can take control room, which is quite overpowered. You can see manpower generator gives us three happiness and four improvement. Level one control room gives us seven and four and it gives training and you can uh, as you can see you can sell train cars you don't plan on using to get other uh, better stuff out of it i think i'll put in that just to increase our improvement rate i don't really like these cards i don't like randomness I'd much rather have a steady supply. Now, I want the Academy. I wanted it the last time I played this, but sadly I died before I got access to it. This time I will not. I refuse. Apparently, Academy and Security cards work the same way, where you get a 
new type of uh, train car and then just having the security or culture or academy cards will improve the special train car somehow. Yes, I will need that to get level 2 or 3 printing house. Now I can get the library. Now every 4 cycles I will get a academy train car. I don't know how it works. I don't know what it does. But I'm hoping it'll be good. And we will be visiting quite a lot of different small towns. We might actually have time to do this just to get even more of this. Now we can upgrade our control room. And already we gain plus 10 happiness from it each time someone uses it. Now I'm not entirely sure about the Department of Press. If I get a better... Oh, I get ra random academy train cars. That makes sense. If I get a better media room, I will instantly remove current one. I will be taking the train design room. But I don't know what I'll replace. If I get another one, then I will for sure replace the Department of Engine Control. Yeah, Department of Press. Ah, sure, let's upgrade it and see if it's any better. It's workable, but not the best. I might do myself by going this way, but I'll give it my best shot. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And each of these larger cities we visit will give us a tier 3 train car. Now, our control room is already level 2. We have a sheriff's office here. And then we have a train design right here. Let's take this and possibly yeah, replace wheelhouse. I can just sell it. Same with meditation. I won't be needing them. And I can just choose anything and just sell it. So each time you sell them, you get a certain amount of uh, stuff from them, and then you can get new cards with them. Library. Not bad. Now we can get a level 3 library. Yeah, this was a bad choice. I won't be able to get back in time, but I hope I will be able to outrun the storm. I will be hit by it, but how much? That's the question. Now, we have a train design room already. I could go with orphanage. And I think I will. Now we'll get 80 each time we visit a new node. Now, can we outrun the storm? I think we can. Yes, we managed to outrun it. We can continue improving our academies. We do a small detour there to get even more train cars. 
there we go, control room. Now it's level 3 and giving us 20 happiness, 24 improvement and 8 training. But we don't get anything from the training yet. But everything else gains quite the boost from it. Let's do Department of Engine Control. Improve that up to level 3. And soon I will be able to improve Library to level 4. We're going back into the storm for a short while. And level 4 printing house. We just might lose here. I have to leave this storm. I can't go to that area. Sadly. I might already have overstayed my welcome here. And now I'm on my last legs. Got quite literally. If situation doesn't improve, I'm done. But it luckily should improve once I'm out of the storm. Now, front room is the best room I've found so far. And I lost, sadly. But the front room, each day, it gains plus two happiness indefinitely. As long as you have enough train cars. The first time you get two then you have four, six, eight, and it constantly improves until you get like 40 or 60 happiness for each citizen visiting the front room, which is quite good. I decided to do another run because that last one was so short. And this time I'm hoping to actually reach the promised land. Now, this time I decided to go north, instead, just to avoid going the same exact route each time. Now, each time we will get the bonus happiness. Our train cars are trash, but at least we are getting some bonus from them. I could go with security this time, actually, instead of uh, academies. It seems like the passengers are assigned randomly and we go into a bad zone which we very much would like to just pass by as quickly as possible we just want to get out and this direction is a lot faster in getting out uh, let's do this okay now we have a information Room, which grants us 10 happiness each time. This wants to be in the front. Ah, each person there grants 10 happiness. So, sheriffs or security seems quite good. But so does the academies. So academies give you more cards overall. So I could go into the city and be sped up, but I think I want to go to the deep sea. Now I don't want to spend extra time going through small areas. I want to spend as much time going through the larger areas as possible but still visiting some smaller areas. Because the small areas only grant me like, maybe silver cards, most likely bronze. And I want gold cards that you get from the points of interest. Like... Uh, Hmm, Inquisition Room, which I will probably put on place of Sheriff's Office, because Sheriff's Office is trash. 
now I could go... Hmm. I could try and make job school better and I think I will because getting level 4 Department of Labor is quite difficult, almost impossible. What the shit there? And I want to go there. All the points of interest. Then we'll be heading north. I might have enough time to go through there this time. I don't have the speed boosts, but I haven't taken any detours so far. I will not have time to visit it, so let's go that way instead. I'd much rather save my happiness for the later areas now. Inquisition room, yes please. That gives me now plus 12 each time. So it's already better than the bonus car I get, but bonus is always bonus. Now, because I didn't take the detour earlier, I will probably have time to do this detour. Yes, now I have level 4 academy. So I should start getting these cards quite quickly. And even if I don't use them, I can always sell them. Just quickly try and visit all the larger places. I think I'll go with the front room just because it passively gains more and more levels constantly. And the further we get, the more or the better cards we will be getting. And now I can do this car. Now it's plus two. Every cycle it increases, that's 4, 6, and it just keeps increasing on and on, indefinitely. Now we start losing happiness constantly. I think we'll just want to get out of here as fast as possible. There we go, that's level 4 now. Train design room, yes please. Now I have level 4 train design room and I'm out of happiness. As you can see, even with really great happiness production, this is just overwhelming. The amount of happiness I lose constantly. Like I don't know if it's just if it if you take too long. I don't know, but this game is hard, but it's fun. And I highly recommend it. But with that, I think I'll call the episode here. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give this game a shot. It's well worth it. And if you want to see more. The day this video gets uploaded, I will be doing a stream on Twitch of this game and trying to get to the promised land. Now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.